All right, guys, I'm at the Fluke booth. You guys may have seen my video where I used some Fluke solar tools, specifically the 393FC. This is a really high-end clamp meter. It goes up to 1,500 volts. So very powerful, generally going to be used for commercial and higher, basically. Uh, but the nice thing about it is the clamp up here is really easy to use because it's so pointed. But I've got Allison here, and Allison is the expert on all of this stuff, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're just going to show a couple of the tools here and that way you guys can know about them. And so if you have an interest, I'll have links down below and you can look them up. So tell us what are the most common tools people are using? Yeah. Well, I saw you just taking a look at our 393FC. This is definitely our hottest new clamp meter. Okay. And we've designed it specifically for solar installations with the 1500 volts DC, which we know that's becoming more and more important to have a feature like that. Why is it more important to have a feature like that, do you think? Well, because more installations are going towards that higher voltage level. Okay, getting bigger in general? Yeah, they're getting okay. bigger, they're able to carry more voltage, and even like up to 2,000 we've been, we've been seeing. So, wow. Luke is taking that into consideration and starting to design tools to fit that upcoming market. Okay. So, this was a great first step for us. The clamp meter able to measure that 1500 volts DC. Mm -hmm. Also, we, you know, in doing our customer feedback, we realized that uh, customers are having a hard time fitting their clamps into tight spaces like combiner boxes. So, like where this isn't as pointed. Exactly. Traditionally, things. our clamps have a certain shape that is more similar to that, similar to this. Okay. And if you take a look side by side, you can see the comparison of the tighter jaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know when I was using that, especially in my electrical panel, it made it way easier to get onto the specific wires to test them. Exactly. So it makes a difference. Yeah. So we've had great success with this one. It's also Fluke Connect enabled, so you can save your measurements, see them in the app. And then you guys have a new irradiance tool. I was able to use, I guess, the first gen irradiance tool. This is a really neat tool because it allows you to detect basically what type of sunlight is hitting your solar panels, but this is your new version. Yeah. So tell us about the new version, what's different about it? The new version is um, really great because it comes with this bracket attachment. And what that means is that you can hook it up directly to the panel. Your meter is at the same tilt of the panel, same orientation. Mm -hmm. It's receiving the same amount of irradiance as your panels. The other difference is that it has a Bluetooth feature and the Bluetooth connects specifically with our new SMFT 1000. So that connects with this, and what am I going to do with this? By Bluetooth, we are able to communicate the temperature and mm -hmm. also the irradiance that you're receiving from the array. It'll wirelessly transmit that information to this unit. Okay. And then what you can do is run an IV curve. And that's going to be a super accurate measurement because it's receiving the exact measurements of the environment at the time that you're doing the measurement. Okay, so, so explain you, what is an IV curve. An IV curve basically measures the efficiency of a panel or a string of panels, however you're connecting it. What it will do is take the standard test conditions, the STC, of the specific panel mm -hmm. that you're using. So okay. there's so many different panels out there, a bunch of different manufacturers. So they all have slightly different standard test conditions. So we want to make sure that we have the exact same test conditions for the panel that you're using. You wouldn't want to look at a panel with a different test condition because it could look like it's bad right. based on one condition, one but it's actually working properly. Exactly. Okay. So you want to make sure that that information is in there, this accurate temperature and irradiance information is in there. The irradiance and the temperature measurements of this um, feeds directly into here, and with the standard test conditions put into this unit, it'll calculate right on screen without having to bring a laptop or a tablet out into the field. Right on the screen, you'll be able to see in real time the IV curve populate and you'll know right away if there's an issue or not. And then speaking of issues, this is another tool that I know is really popular is the thermal imager. Yes. And this is your pocket size one. So what would be the use of a thermal imager for those who've never used one for solar? So for solar, you're really just looking at hot spots on the panel, identifying any abnormalities, looking for those issues with the panel. This one's really great because like you said, it's pocket size mm -hmm. and it's also our most affordable. So depending on the resolution you need, we have other options on our thermal line. Yeah, so this is like your mid-grade right here, yep. right? And then you have a huge one. We've got a big one Looks over like here. Looks like you can shoot lasers out of which it. Which should might be a little bit overkill yeah. Yeah, for, for what you need. This is definitely commercial use. This is more residential mm -hmm. use. 
Uh, thermal imagers are also great for finding an efficiency in the house where mm -hmm. you can see if there's cold air coming around your door, if you have exactly. cold air, hot air coming from the attic. Water leaks mm -hmm. will kind of show colder. There's so many uses for them. They're really just picking up on the surface temperature and letting you see visually what those changes are that you wouldn't be able to see without getting up close and personal. Okay, so let's say for the average home user mm -hmm. who's gonna install their own system and wants to check up on it once a year or something like that, making sure that everything's working flawlessly, what would be the main tools that they should get? You probably would just need some of our basic tools. Our 325 plant meter would be okay. one. Homeowner wouldn't have a 1500 volt system on their roof. A little pocket camera is a good idea. Right. It's probably it. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, when you see the, the importance of finding hot spots on your solar panel, is that's what's gonna tell you if you're, one, getting inefficiencies, but two, if there's a potential fire hazard because where that heat builds up over time, that's where you see solar panels failing, catching on fire, melting and all of that stuff. And you'll see it every now and then with solar panels where you'll see bus bars that are not completed. Uh, actually, Solar Goat just did a video on that where he had, a, I think it was an LG panel where the bus bar failed at top. And it's a super simple fix, but you can't just fix it and it voids the warranty and all those things. And you right. can find all of that out with a simple tool Preventative like maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Now on the commercial side, what would be the top three tools you think commercially people would use? Definitely the SMFT, built for commercial thousand volt systems. Not quite to the utility scale okay. uh, without doing some tweaks to the system before using it. So thousand volt system, probably that mid range camera. This one here? Yeah, and this one. Okay, so these items here. The Although TIS. this again might be overkill with the 1500 volts, but its features make it awesome. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. Well, guys, I've used some Fluke tools. I think they're incredible. If you are into the industry of doing solar installs, you definitely want to check out Fluke because they have some of the highest grade equipment out there. And you can always contact Fluke. I'll put their information down below. Not a sponsored video or anything like that. Just saw them here at the show and wanted to share with you guys all the awesome tools that they have. I use them personally, especially the Irradiance tool. That blew my mind when I yeah. first used it. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely not something the average Joe would need to use. But even just time of year, being able to check, check your panels to see how see much- See what's most efficient. Yeah, yeah. What kind of solar radiance they're getting, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Guys, follow links down below and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. All right, guys, appreciate you.